Riley is one today and I am so excited. I know that sounds weird to be excited, but I've just been looking forward to her first birthday for a while now. Um, I just feel like I have such a big girl. I don't know where the time has gone, but she's just been so much fun. Um, we actually had a birthday party for her this past Sunday, so it was four days ago, and she had a blast. I was so surprised. I was kind of expecting and gearing up and being like preparing myself for her to get upset during the party, but we had, um, it was about 20 people including me and my husband, and she just, she just had a blast. She was happy the entire time. Um, she was, um, there were a few instances where neither me or my husband were with her and she was just playing with some other people who were at the party and she was just, she did great. It was amazing. So that was awesome. But um, let me get into her 12 month update and I'm actually on the wrong page of my notes. So let me flip that around. Um, so I'll start off kind of with her stats, um, even though I don't really have her stats because I haven't taken them yet. Um, I'm pretty sure she's about 17 and a half pounds. Um, she has gained a little bit of weight from the past couple months because actually she hadn't really gained weight the past couple months from being so active. Um, she has gained a little bit. I'm not sure exactly how much though, because like I said, I haven't weighed her recently, but I'm pretty sure she's around 17 and a half pounds. Maybe I'd be surprised. Maybe she's magically 18 pounds now. Who knows? But um, yeah, somewhere around there. And at the end of the day, does it really matter? No. Um, I have no idea how tall she is. Um, I think last month, yeah, last month she was about 28 inches. Um, I don't think she's really much taller. Um, at most, maybe she's grown like another half inch. Um, just based on like how her clothes fit her um, But like I said once again, I'm not really sure but I know those are things probably that you guys don't care about so much um, One of the biggest things this past month as far as I'm concerned is that she has started playing with other kids really well so um, for those of you guys that don't watch the vlogs if you don't know um, we I take her, not we, I take her to a play group every Wednesday and I have done for um, I think like a couple months now and she has just really blossomed a lot this past month in how she engages with other children which is really great um, and it just makes me so happy and so proud of her to see her um, you know just playing with other kids because obviously like as a parent like these are the kinds of things you worry about. You want your kids to be able to you know not mix into society. I don't know how to make that sense. You just want them to be able to be social beings and to like enjoy life, right? So she's been going through her eighth leap this month, which is the leap of programs. Um, so even though she's been leaping for, I think pretty much this entire month, maybe um, just most of the month. Now I'm pretty sure she's been doing it for like this entire month. Um, so even though she's been leaping, this has actually been one of my easier leaps with her. Um, we did have some really hard times this month with Riley, but that was related to a couple other things that I will talk about. But as far as her leaping behavior has gone, it hasn't been that bad, which has been really nice. Um, she's actually just been like really a joy to be around. Um, just so playful, so happy, giggly. Um, I'm really, really lucky. Um, I do know that you know, in moments, like in the moment, like I have a lot of days where I just feel like, oh my God, like, can she stop whining? Can she stop doing this? Can she stop doing that? But when I look on things like retrospectively, like I'm like, my gosh, like this has been a really great month. So I do admit that I have moments where all I can do is complain and think about all the negative things. But at the end of the day, when I look back on it, like it's been a really great month. I'm a really lucky mom. It's been a great year. I can't believe I can't believe it's been a year. It's so hard to think about it because it's like in one way like the months just fly by and you can barely keep up with it but on the other hand like I feel like she's been with us for like way more than a year because a year doesn't seem like a very long time but I can't even imagine what my life was like before her. Like I don't fully remember who I was. Um, I really feel like a year of having a baby like it's really like done a lot for my character and who I am. Like. I don't know I just feel like I know so much more about myself even like but this is supposed to be about Riley right I don't know just being a mom it changes you even though you're the same person um 
it's bound to change you regardless because suddenly you you can't be selfish anymore like you've got somebody else to take care of and they become the center of your universe so there's that um so this month the hard times that we had with her was that the beginning of the month we went on a trip we went to spain and riley got sick during the trip so she was sick the entire second half of that trip and she pretty much was better the day we got home um which was nice at least that she was starting to feel better but it was so hard dealing with her she was really sick she had a really high fever we ended up she was actually so um like warm feeling i don't know what her actual temperature was because i didn't have a thermometer with me because we were in another country traveling and that was not something i was traveling with um didn't think to bring a thermometer you know what i mean this was like the first time she's ever had like a high fever like that also so like yes i have a thermometer at home but i've never had to use it i leave the country for like a week and like she gets really sick go figure so we actually brought her to the doctors in spain and it was it's one of those kind of like humbling moments because here i am in spain i speak very very little spanish um and the doctors are speaking to me in Spanish and I'm answering them in English neither of us are really understanding each other and that's what I mean like when I say it's a humbling moment I mean it's like when because you know you just get so used to being in like an English speaking country and it's funny because when somebody comes up to me and they speak another language if I don't understand them I just respond to them in English and like yeah, sometimes like you just keep talking to them in English like you expect them to understand you at some point and like obviously that's not going to happen so that's what I mean when I say it's humbling because here I was in the opposite position and I just felt like an idiot because I was like because here I am I'm the one visiting another country I don't speak the language and I'm asking for help and like I just felt absolutely useless in that moment but I mean we don't know exactly exactly what she had because obviously at the end of the day you never really know but um, the doctor um, had um, said she had had influenza, so the flu. Um, so she had to take um, a paracetamol to bring her temperature down. We did choose to give it to her because obviously we wanted to get her out of pain. She was in so much pain. And then to top it off, she was like she was teething beyond teething. So I forgot to bring it up in her 11 month update, but in her 11 month in her 11 month, she got her first tooth. So Riley went a really long time without any teeth. So when she was 11 months old, somewhere in that month, she got her first tooth. Well, let's just say last month, she got five more teeth. So now she's got six teeth, but to get five teeth, let me tell you all at once. She got, so wait, hold on, let me go back. So she got in five extra teeth while she was traveling in another country and she had the flu. And I think to make matters worse, because I knew she was teething, um, the first few times I felt her and that she had a temperature, I just assumed she had a teething fever and I didn't think much of it. So it did get to the point where she got like a really high fever. Um, like I said, I don't know how high her fever got, um, but she felt really warm. Um, it got to that point before we brought her to the doctors because She'd been teething anyway, um, which I also think obviously her body's working really hard to get those teeth out. So I think that brought her immune system down. And then on top of that, you're bringing your baby onto a plane. You're taking them out of their normal routine. She got sick. Somebody around her within all that traveling was sick. And they passed it on to my darling baby and it made it not the best trip. First half of the trip, fantastic, amazing. We all had a great time. Second half of the trip, not so great. Um, so yeah, but you know, you have to have this experience with your child at some point. Um, you know, I'm glad it happened when she was a little bit older and not when she was like a really, really young newborn because um, as heartbreaking as it was to deal with at her being nearly a year old, I think I would have been into bits and pieces if it happened to her when she was just a little baby because when they're just like a little baby like you're so much more concerned with them being fragile not saying I wasn't concerned now but I'm just saying like I'm glad it took so long for her to get that sick if that makes any sense obviously if she didn't get sick at all that would be even better um so I think from her 
being so sick she has been a really really big mummy's girl ever since um, it could also just do with her leaping as well because that is common leaping behavior plus I think it's just normal behavior anyway we are still breastfeeding which I will touch on a little bit at the end um, so she is very attached to me but I have felt that this past month ever since she got sick she has been extra attached to me like more so than before um, we've had quite a few instances where like I've literally still been standing next to her and her um, her daddy will go to hold her and she like immediately will break down into a cry even though I haven't even actually gone anywhere all he's doing is going to hold her which is why I was so amazed that she did so well on her birthday actually you know what guys if you don't watch the birthday vlogs sorry if you don't watch our vlogs I am going to link below um, Riley's birthday vlog because like I said she did so amazingly well um, also um, my niece did a cute little um, video as a one-year birthday present for Riley so I'm gonna link that down below as well because it had me like I wasn't crying I did not cry Georgia but I nearly cried um, just cuz I don't know anything to remind me that she was like this tiny in the past and now she's like this big like it will bring me to tears so I'm gonna link that below as well um, what else have I written down oh so she has been walking this month but it's no change from last month so last month I said that she would take like two or three steps at a time um, you know or a lot of times I'll see her like she'll look at something in the distance and she'll think about walking and then she's like ah, no I'm just gonna crawl and pretty much that's exactly what she does um, I'd say the only change from last month to this month is that she walks more often so she'll still only take about two to three steps at a time um, but she does it like constantly kind of like throughout the day like so like maybe she'll take a couple steps like get back down onto her knees stand back up take a couple steps if that makes sense um, and she also just spends she spends the majority of her time standing these days um, like you know maybe when she was like 10 months old the majority of her time was you know sitting down or crawling like right now she spends the majority of her time standing most of her walking around is surfing so she is like holding on to something with at least one hand um, but she does like let go and take like a couple steps to like get to something else or she'll like get down and crawl um, and she can stand for ages without holding on to anything and when I say ages I mean like she can just stand and stand and stand and stand so definitely I do think with walking she's just not fully like mentally ready for it but I'm pretty sure she could walk like straight across the room if she wanted to she's just not mentally ready for it which is fine she'll do it when she's ready right um, so I'm gonna touch back up on breastfeeding again I brought that up um, yes we are still breastfeeding and we will continue breastfeeding for as long as she wants to uh, well that is my plan it's always easier to say something um, practice is different but my plan is to let her wean when she is ready even if it gets to an age that other people might consider to be ridiculous um, I am a huge huge supporter of extended breastfeeding to the time period that baby and mama feels is right um, so at this point she is feeding I would say on average maybe about six times a day um, she eats really well but she does like to have a couple of touch and go feeds during the day um, she will like sometimes only feed like four or five times a day even um, and she'll sometimes feed like let's say up to seven times a day uh, it is a little bit hard to say exactly how many times she feeds though because she still cluster feeds in the mornings when she's waking up because we do post sleep so when she's waking up a lot of times she'll kind of wake up pop on for a second or two and then pop back off another 15 minutes later she might pop on for a second or two and then pop off she does a lot of dream feeding and cluster feeding mixed together um, so she does that in the mornings and she usually does that um, at nighttime as well when she's trying to fall asleep sometimes she will just have a really good feed and go straight to sleep but a lot of times she will like have like cluster feeds throughout the night uh, not throughout the night sorry at this point she does like pop off I just mean 
she'll have cluster feeds to fall asleep. Um, as far as sleeping through the night, um, she's actually been really good about sleeping through the night. At most, most of the time, so at most, most of the time, she'll only wake up once to um, have like a quick feed to go back to sleep. Um, I'm pretty sure these feeds are more for comfort, not for um, actual food. So actually like drinking a solid amount, she probably drinks about four to five times a day, but she does nurse quite a bit more than that for comfort as well. Um, so I do think I'm going to do a separate video on our one year breastfeeding journey and kind of do a reflective um, video on my thoughts from like us starting out on our journey and how that's continued to go. I'm going to try to get that up for you guys soon, but I do have a lot of videos that I want to get up and I never have enough time to film what I want to because obviously I'm watching care, I'm watching, I'm taking and watching, I'm taking care of and watching a baby at the same time. Right now my husband has her, so I am um, going to say goodbye right now, but I'm going to try to take a clip of her when they get back just so I can show you guys, um, you know, what she's looking like right now because she's just so amazingly cute um, yes I'm biased but I just think she's the cutest so I'll show you guys her when they get back from their run because he is running with her right now um, and then I will say goodbye so I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching here's the ridiculously cute birthday girl say hi guys hi guys <laughs> she just came in from the run she's still in her uh her little jackety thing that she goes out in when they go on a run and it's cold out. <laughs> uh, say hi guys. Say hi. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> She's still waking up. She was taking a nap. Say good morning. Ah, it's my birthday. Say it's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm gonna spend daddy's money. Yay. You smell like you pooped. I think you've pooped. Let's change your diaper. Let's change your diaper. <laughs> Say bye guys. Bye bye.